thrift with me, oh thrift with me, I can't stop buying vases. Good morning my friends, so today I have quite a big day planned. My friends Millie and Tiasha live in Sydney's inner west, which is very very far away from where I live, and uh, they have told me that there are some excellent stores out their way that I must visit. The main store that we're going to today is called Mitchell Road Antiques, I think that's what it's called. Now, I guess technically it's not a thrift store, it's an antique store, but the girls said to me, you have to show it. Apparently it's the most incredible place ever and it's full of retro, vintage, antique, all sorts of things, you know. They said it's a little bit pricier than your average op shop, but you're gonna find really rare, unique items. Now you guys know that I've been on the search for some Murano glass, I've been looking for shells, like retro, you know, 60s, 70s themed shell objects, lamps. I like lamp so much that I must be moth. I'm so excited to visit this place because every time the girls go there, they put it on their Instagram story and I'm always like, that place looks glorious. So when Caitlin caught wind of the fact that I am going to visit this antique store, she was like, please take me with you. So I'm picking her up right now. Caitlin is still on crutches. So I don't know how crutches and antiques are gonna go. We'll see. Welcome to the car, Caitlin. Oh, we have like... We have vlog mode activated. I can, I can see my hair is like funky. Yeah, don't, don't look too hard. Whenever I look at myself while I'm driving, I'm like, mm. So... You should be looking at yourself while you're driving. <laughs> you know where we're off to today? Mitchell Road Antiques or whatever it's called. Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I don't know what's going on there. Antiques. I, I, <laughs> I'm mostly into like Salvos and Vinnies, so yeah. I have a very good idea where they're in those. Yep. But this is like, is it fancy? Well, the girls told me it's a little bit more expensive than what we probably be used to from regular op shops. Yeah. So, uh, are you hoping to find anything in particular today? Any vintage items that, you know, you lust after? Books. Books? Books? Really? Books are my favourite. Okay, alright. Genuinely. Books. Okay, so like big, chunky, leather bound books. Uh, anything from the 90s and 50s that's non-fiction. That's very sp 90s and 50s. All right, books. So you're heading for the book section. I'm books. heading for the lamp section. Alrighty. Well, we've got a very long drive ahead of us, so I guess we can pop up some, pop on some tunes and uh, just chill until we get all the way out to the inner west. <laughs> that's just Australia for you. Australia for you. Yeah. Look, you. Could, the f oh my God. Speaking of, so when when I went to um. The UK with my mum because we're from Scotland so we went to visit Scottish family and we flew into Heathrow Airport and we drove from Heathrow up to Scotland and we stopped at like you know in a couple of B&Bs along the way we stopped in the Lakes District and various places and um people were asking us like so where are you folks headed and we said oh you know we're going up to um uh where is she like Perthshire and they were like in Scotland and we said yes and they said how are you getting there and we said we're driving and they were like you, you're not driving from here to Scotland are you and we were like yeah, look, that's like going to visit my friends, <laughs> like in the same state that I live in, <laughs> in the same city that I live in, I would probably have to drive that sort of distance to go hang out with my friends for lunch. So like the drive from Heathrow to Scotland, no big deal, just honestly. Just 40 minutes to pick me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're driving for an hour to go see Tiasha and Millie. That would literally put us in France. <laughs> I used to, when I was working and then coming to your house after work, it would take me a total of two hours. Yeah. Of just from work to your place. Yeah. And then I would hang out at your place for like, the island we live on is very big. It's very big and spacious, and we just we just learned to cope with the distance. So, uh, tell me, if you drove one hour from where you live, what country would you end up in? Leave it in the comments down below. My favorite part is that if you drive far enough, your dialects change. Yeah, your languages change. Yeah, that's true. You need sometimes you need passports. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's amazing. So I've heard people genuinely go, I'm going to dip down to Paris for the day. You want to come with? I'll come back home later tonight, so I have dinner with the mates. It's like... Imagine how many mushroom lamps I'd find in Paris. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> A mushroom lamp like those really fancy, like... Yeah. My yeah. grandparents have two of those. Wait, do you have grandparents? <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> They're not that fancy. They're one of those where you tap the bottom and they like. That's not on. a mushroom lamp. No, nope. it's not a mushroom lamp. No, nope. it's got the same kind of like a mushroom glass lamp. Top thing, right? Looks like a mushroom. Like the whole thing is made of glass, top to bottom. It's one solid oh, piece of glass. Oh, wait, I am, I am misconfusing stuff. Yeah, that's not them. <laughs> Alrighty, we will catch you guys out in uh, where where are pretty sweet going. It's far away. <laughs> Oh my god, I 
see the slide. Mitchell Road and Tate. Uh, so where do we park? Oh my god. I've actually wanted to come to this place. Where do we park? Then we have license to be here. Yep. <laughs> yep, we are now customers of Kelly Country. Yes. Well, we parked somewhere we're not supposed to. There are signs everywhere saying no parking, but you know what? Stuff it. Look at her. We have to park there. Oh my God, look, we, we're alongside the store and the first thing I see is a bunch of vases. Okay. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. I don't need that, but I want that. Okay. Mitchell Road. Antiques and Design Center. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? Mitchell Road Antiques. You look so cute. Hi. This is crazy. I've never seen a place. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Wow. Wow. Hi. Hi Santa. They sell bonsai. Wait, do they sell plants here? You mean I can thrift plants? <laughs> This is so cool. Holy crap. Oh my God, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. <laughs> Look at the lamp. Ah. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Six month baby avocado plant in vintage glass, $45. Look at how, look at him. <gasps> what? A little monstera too. Wow. Vid. <laughs> This is insane. Is so this is absolute is insanity. Is this what is this? What are you? Poodle bottle. Poodle bottles. Look at the poodle lamp. Poodle lamp. Poodle lamp. Poodle lamp. <gasps> Glass. Oh my god, I literally bought this bottle yesterday. What the f what the fing f what? I bought that yesterday. Oh my god. It's all the glass that I love. <sighs> look at look at the faces. These prices are actually not that different to what I was seeing at some of the vinnies and stuff. Like I bought I bought that the other day, that exact thing. That one doesn't have a pro uh, does it? Oh, $125. I literally bought that yesterday at a Vinnie's. Although that's 35. That's 35. That's 48. That's Vinnie's prices. Whoa. <gasps> look at that thing. Look at these couches. These couches are incredible. What the fuck? How much is this? Please do not sit unless interested in Yes, I'm interested in buying. $4,000. You know what? If it was pink, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Like I literally wouldn't even think twice. They literally have all the glassware I could possibly want. $275 for that. $100. Oh my God, look. You know what's so annoying, guys? You, you see that? You see that? That vase. I literally saw one of those at a Vinnie's and I didn't buy it. And I regretted it so much afterwards. What? This is made from the same thing that my um, wine, you know, those wine goblets that I got. Wow, set of five stone eggs, $85. Oh my God, are you serious? I literally turned this vase down at a Vinnie's the other day. $145. I saw this vase. <gasps> Look at this. What? Oh. Look. $60. Wow. Look at this. That's so pretty. It's $60 though. Yeah, everything is like super expensive. Yeah. Oh my god. I saw those. See those vases? I saw them yesterday at a Vinnie's and they were $5 each. So they're 65 here. Mm. Look. Oh, okay. These are stone like my one, except mine's a different shape. These are $65 each. Beautiful lamp. Oh my god, if I'm going to find a mushroom lamp anywhere, I'm going to find it here. Oh my god, look at this. What the hell? What the, literally, what the, this is what my house is going to look like when I'm done with Thriftmas, let's be honest. $45. This is all art glass. Velvet couch. Look, there's Wedgwood. I've been collecting Wedgwood on my thrift journey. That's 40. That's 30. I've been getting these for $15 at Vinnie's. 
Wow. Wow. Look at this. What? <gasps> Look in here. Oh my god, this stuff is all so beautiful. What the? I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. I want those candlesticks. They're $220 each. Never mind. This is a lamp. This is $150. It's called a book lamp. I've never seen something like this. It's a stack of books tied up and the, electric the electricals go down on the inside. I think I should get this for Daniel for Christmas. I think he's going to love it. I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm 100% going to get this. Look at these two. So that thing at the back there, that basket. Do you remember that one I got the other day that was orange? Uh, that's 125. The one that I got was 30. Christmas present for Daniel. Oh, that's such a good idea. Do you think that's a good price? It's $150. I, I, these, I actually think they're amazing. I, think it's, yeah. like, I don't think that's stuff, bad. Like that vase was like 65. You found something for me, have you? Okay. <gasps> wow! Wow! Oh my god! It's so beautiful! Oh wow! Holy shit! That's adorable! You just want to like, decorate a whole house, but then it's so. I just want to live here. Can this this can be my house? Oh my god, look at the zebra chair. Look. Look at that chair. <gasps> More glassware. Similar to the one that I bought. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, holy sh**. What the f Pair of black and white lamps, $475. <gasps> How cool is that? Look, vintage mirror, $145. Wow, tall red and white vase, $75. Guys, this is literally what my house is gonna look like when I'm done with Christmas at the end of this month. Like, I'm just, I'm gonna have things like this everywhere. <laughs> Oh, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, or shell lamp. Come on, manifest it with me, guys. Mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp. What? Fake Louis Vuitton? Whoa. Wow. Oh, you know what's funny? I saw these sort of candles the other day at a Vinnie's. $55. Wow. Black panthers are one of my favorite animals. I was obsessed as a kid. If I had seen that when I was younger, I would have bought it, well, not with any money. I would have begged my parents for it for Christmas. Look at this. Wow. Sorry I just keep showing you uh, vases. I really need to stop. Why is that the Joker from Gotham? Oh my God. Ravenclaw? Are these, are these Harry Potter Doc Martens for $65? Sorry, what? That's a Vinnie's tag in there, $15 at Vinnie's, $15. And these are $65 in this store. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Hey, this is like that bag that I got for my uh, Dark Academia haul, $65. Oh my God, look at this little pink sink. That's so cool, that's $400. It literally says on here, cute 1950s pink bathroom sink. <laughs> and also look at this dining table set. This is for the set, 
some sort of vintage oven. Wow. There is just so much stuff everywhere that you look. And if you don't look in every square inch of this place, you will miss something. Like, look at the top up there. There's a whole bunch of those vases that I've been buying. Look, that's 25, 20, 20, 20. Look, look at them all. And that's like what I've been collecting. And they're all the way up there. Like, how is anyone ever going to get up there and get to them? We'll have a look at them. There's, oh my God, look at it. Holy crap. Look. Oh my God. How, what? Here. These are ashtrays, his and hers ashtrays, made in Florence, Italy. It says two ashtrays plus urn Italian, $120 for the set. Wow. Look at this. $20 paperweight. Slumber coat. <laughs> Another one of those glass basket things, $120. Holy shit. $295. Murano bowl. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. I've been looking for one of these rattan shelves forever. Is this for sale? Oh, there's no price on it. Oh yeah? Vintage cane shelves, 125. That's really tempting. Oh wow. Whoa, look at this. Lounge spirits bottle, perfect for the man cave, $95. Yes, I would totally get that for Dan. It says, fine old Scotch whiskey. Wow, I would totally do that, but I've got him the light and I think he will enjoy the light more. It's more practical because you can actually turn it on and use it. Whereas this, you just look at it. I guess you could push it sometimes. What on earth is this? Deco light shade, $69. Whoa, <gasps> Costa Boda, $165. This one's $125. Oh, look at those. Jeez. I want, I want this so bad. Pastel purple. Whoa, look at it. Look at this. Isn't this just glorious? What are these meant to be? $65 each. Oh, these are, again, lampshades. Interesting. Iridescent pigeon clock iridescent pigeon clock, little blue vase, swirly glass, iridescent bowl. Here's another one, but this is $365. I just, I want one of these so bad for my plant room to put my plants on. And I saw one at the uh, Salvos in Seven Hills the other day, and I think it was $150. Oh, look. Hey, this is like that big, massive noodle vase, the same sort of style. Wow, look at this. Holy crap. This is all done up to look like a retro room. Look, <gasps> not for sale. Of course, of course, the lilac awesome as mirror is not for sale. <laughs> I'm mad. I would have bought that in a heartbeat. Look. There's a lot of clothing here. Like I'm, I'm not even hardly looking at the clothing because I'm just so fascinated by the vases. But look, look at this. Is this for sale? No, not for sale. Of course, of course, it's not for sale. <laughs> Whoa! What on earth is this? What the heck? What are you? Honey, vintage pink Murano glass oils vinegar bottles, $125. Hang on, I'm confused. Are there two here? No, that. Yeah, okay, so there's two and they are like molded together. Wow, that is fascinating.
Oh my god. I have this. This is the Playpen by Simmons. I have it in green, except mine's older than this. I got mine for $200 from a Vinnie's. Fashion glass. <laughs> Fashion glass. All right, tell me the bad news. How much is it? Stunning summer vintage picture and six tumblers, $150. Rats. This stuff literally in every Vinnie's I go to. Like you might remember, I've, I've picked these cups up about 10 times at different stores. This set is $200. Those are $20 each for those mugs. Four bowls, $38. Okay, so these are, yeah, it's a little bit pricier than uh, the ones that I've been finding, but also there's full sets, whereas I've just been finding like random odd items here and there. That serving platter is only 30. That's about what they were charging in the Vinnies that I saw that in. That sugar thing is 35. It's not too bad. It, yes. The way it looks. <laughs> They have like a mini kitchen and fireplace what? built in it. Oh, Isn't that amazing? Wow, that's so cool. $275. Goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the enormous poodle. Wow. Look at all these iridescent bird clocks. There's pigeons and there's budgies. Fab pink Italian chair. I want that. It's funny, Millie and Tiasha, they've been here before and they said to me, you really got to get here super early because there's so much to look at, you'll be here all day. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, it'll just be like an average size store, like the, like a big salvo or something. But no, no, quite literally, I think I need three weeks to go through this store. Okay, yeah, that's the sort of money I was paying in like Finney's for things like this. Oh my god. 95. Oh, this is so heavy. What the hell? Oyster plate. Are you supposed to actually put oysters in it? <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, 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 oh. oh beautiful. Oh, look, there's another one of these bowls. You know what? Here I was thinking, oh, red Murano bowl, $60. Look at this. This is the Christmas aesthetic that I want this year. Oh, I thought they were glass. Nope, they're plastic. I thought they were like the ones I got the other day. <laughs> oh, I've seen something. I've seen something I like. Oh, careful, 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 careful. $20. Flower bowl tea light holder. This is kind of like those uh, glass stem flowers that I have. Blue and pink. Oh, that's very pretty. That's really tempting. Perfume bottle. How cool is that? Wow, that's epic. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh my God, it's so heavy. What? <gasps> I just knocked something over. It was on the issue. Frost pink glass bauble swags. That is really cool. Oh, I like it. But also there's only one. Hmm, tempting. Oh, what a day. Stone eggs. Oh, these are heavy too. $15. Hey. Hey, this is the, that thing that I saw. Do you remember, oh, where did I see this? Brookvale? Mm, there's nothing written on it. You're not going to tell me any information about this? Okay. Don't know the price of it. Shop 22, vintage decor. I have a slight speculation that each of these different areas could possibly be, maybe the stuff is owned by a different person and they're commissioning these guys to sell it. Could that be it? Like could, because I've been noticing there's no real like rhyme or reason to the order that these things are in. Cause like I saw this bowl a couple of aisles back. This one here is 35. Hang on, how much was the one that I saw before? That's kind of cool. Anyway, so like I was saying, this says shop 22. So I wonder if these things are all brought in by one specific person. I don't know, interesting, very interesting. That's, okay, 
That's really cool. Oh God, please don't fall over. That's very pretty. Hand decorated. Hmm. That's so cute. I kind of want that actually. That's really nice. Hey, I got one of these the other day. 55, I think I paid 15 for mine. There's heaps of Wedgwood here. Look at this teeny tiny little one. That's 18, this tiny one. on earth 1960s beauty case with kangaroo for $110 burger phone Spaghetti light fitting. Fascinating. More glass vases. I reckon there's probably some incredible clothing here, but I'm not looking at clothing right now. Duff beer. These lampshade, $125. It's really nice though. seen these at so many stores <laughs> like so many vinnies and salvos and all that um the pair i wonder if that means the pairs in both do you get both for 45 because it's not too bad is that what i think it is is it a beaded Hello Kitty? What? What on earth? <laughs> now that's cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this, like, what, is this coral? Is this actual coral? Blue coral. Wow, that's so cool. That's awesome. okay but I don't know it's another one that I'm just gonna admire from a distance Whoa, 
Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's so cool. 180. That's really quirky. Oh my god, that's so cool. This is nice too. Whoa, are these swordfish? You look swordfish horn. Look at that. Nice. Whoa, 240. That's really cool. Oh my god, is that a giant crystal? So, so, solar night to land? Wow. I think I'm gonna need to come back here. Like one day just isn't enough. Is that an old Navy uniform? Wow. Kaylin making friends over at the front counter. Wow, that is the most opulent looking dresser I've seen in my entire life. Holy crap. This looks like something that would have been owned by royalty. Is it for sale? I don't uh, think I could ever afford it. It's probably a million dollars. Whoa, that's a cool chair. 895 mid-century space age chair. Look at those, they're so cool. Look at that, that's a, the biggest lamp I've ever seen. Wow, those are amazing. Oh, look at that, wow, $150. Beautiful 1960s. Wow, this is nice too. Murano. There is a lot of Murano glass here, guys. And uh, nothing that I can afford. <laughs> All right, gang, we're all done. So the only thing that I came away with was that gift for Dan, those books, the book light. Um, that's the light bulb for it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing was, there were so many things that I liked the look of. The things that I desperately loved were really expensive. And the things that I was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Most of them, I was like, I could get that at a Vinnie's for cheaper. You know, so did you see the Hogwarts Doc Martens? There were these, like, Harry Potter Doc Martens that what were... What size were they, though? They were 42. They had, I think it was Hufflepuff. And um, anyway, so they, on the inside of them had a Vinny sticker that said $15. And on the underneath, the price that these guys gave it was 65. So they obviously go to thrift stores. They go to secondhand stores and they buy- They're in good condition. They're in excellent condition. We can go back for them if you want them, Caitlin. <laughs> we can. Right. Um, but yeah. Oh, Hufflepuff, I really love Doc Martens, Hufflepuff, it's a Venn diagram of like, Mm, okay, oh. we, we, if you want them, we so can. Like, I'm gonna check your footage. I assume I'll you took show footage you. Of yes, it, I and took then a I'll, video. I'll, I'll show you. If you like it, we can go back. We're just going to a cafe down the road now. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like the thought that like they they go to secondhand stores and they buy all of that stuff just to resell it and they mark it up massively. Like that's a big problem because like a lot of secondhand stores, you know, things are priced so that people that 
you know, us strapped for cash mm -hmm. can afford things and then people like this come along and buy it up and then sell it for three times more. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Oh, what you got? Oh, it's so it cute. It's a little uh, silver jewel box, is what it's called. So it's a little bit gross at the moment. It's a little bit gross, but... That's so cute. Good find, very good find. <laughs> What did you get? I got this uh, beautiful, beautiful piece of art. <laughs> okay, just a that's real illusion. Just a that's so illusion. cute. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. I got my Dolly Parton cassette tape. What? Very fun. Very fun. Dolly Parton. Oh my god. I can't say I have a cassette player, but uh, <laughs> I got this ring. The, oh yeah, show me your rings. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's it's midnight and I didn't realize that I forgot to film an outro when I went to the antique store. So I hope that you liked that video. If you enjoyed watching me peruse through an antique store, please give me a thumbs up on this video so that I know that you enjoy this sort of content. I know it's not exactly a thrift store, but I decided to include it in Thriftmas because a bunch of the stuff that was in the store is stuff that I have actually seen at thrift stores. So it was actually a really interesting comparison for me to see what prices that things sell for when they are marketed as an antique versus when they're a donation. I'd really love to hear your opinions in regards to people purchasing items from secondhand stores and then reselling them in their own shops. What do you guys think about that? Because part of me is like, oh, I don't like that. But then the other part of me thinks to myself like, okay, well, that store is, it, it's curated. You know, it's been curated and the items that are there are legitimately vintage. They are authenticated, I suppose you could say. You know that you can go there and pretty much find what you're looking for. If I'm looking for Murano glass, for example, it's either I walk into a thrift store and I don't find anything, or I find something and I think to myself, is it Murano glass or is it just like something that's modern that kind of looks like it's Murano glass and I don't know. Whereas when you go to a store like that, I'm guessing somehow they're able to authenticate their items and you kind of have that confidence, I suppose, in what you're purchasing. Do you think it's a, a good sort of business to support? Do you think that I should stay away from that store in the future? I'm personally really interested in going back again and buying a few things that I can make a man cave for my husband with. So basically we have a spare room that was supposed to be our D&D room and I thought it could be a really fun video to completely deck it out with like vintage retro antique items, but like man cave, D&D, &D, you know, what, what would that aesthetic be called? You know, you know what I mean, like this sort of thing. <laughs> I'd really, really like to do a video like that. And that store, I think, is perfect for that sort of thing. If I were trying to find things like that, look, I mean, at what sort of vineyards am I gonna find a crocodile head? Like, let's be honest. So, I definitely see the value in the store in that regard, but also, I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.